Joe Joyce versus Joseph Parker. Exciting fight. If you missed it, you missed a very exciting fight Saturday afternoon. Um, I feel like this matchup was very underrated. A lot of people are not talking about this fight or weren't talking about this fight before the fight actually happened. But I felt like this was, this was a very entertaining fight. I feel like Joe Joyce definitely put the game on notice at heavyweight division. He's a very dangerous individual. Um, Joseph Parker, you could tell, has good skills. Um, but I don't think he was in the best shape for a fight like this. At the same time, it's very, it's very hard to get away from a man like uh, like Joe Joyce. Joe Joyce, I would say, is the pressure king right now. I mean, every step he made, Joe Joyce was meeting him there. At the same time, it's hard to budge, to even get him to budge. Parker landed overhand after overhand and still couldn't get him out the way. Um, and, and they kind of really like egged him on to, to push for, you know, to push harder, to put more pressure on him, you know, after getting hit. The um, Joe Joyce was going for the overhand all night. It, it wouldn't really land clean, but he found his hook later on in the fight and later on ended up stopping uh, Joseph Parker in the 11th round with a beautiful left hook, you know what I mean, that he wasn't able to recoup from. I feel like Joe Joyce is dangerous for anybody, you know what I mean, in the division. I feel like there's a few guys who might get in his way, that being – uh, Anthony Joshua, Deontay Wilder, or Tyson Fury. If it's not any of those guys, I don't think you really can get over on him. It's, it's going to be tough. Very strong individual, very sturdy individual. The only thing I really see going against uh, Joe Joyce is his age. Joe Joyce at at the point where he just turned seven, 37 years old. Um, I think I think he probably might have another like three years in him, three, four years before things start getting bad for him. But whoever's getting ready for him better be prepared. You know what I mean? And prepare for war because he's coming. Uh, Joe Joyce did a good job chopping at the body. To me, he he appears to be very slow. But when you're in there with a guy like that and they're cutting the distance off, you know what I mean? You never really know what it looks like until you're in there. But he was chopping that body up. You know what I mean? He was stepping into that right hand. Like I said, he was missing a whole lot with the right hand. But coming back with the left hook to the body, left hook up top. You know what I mean? He even surprised me through some short little uppercuts in there. You know what I mean? Very good fighter, but very slow, wide. You know what I mean? It's hard for him to get his head out of there. So if you're a big puncher, then you might have a chance with him. But if you don't have that punch, you're definitely in for trouble. You know what I mean? I'm I'm definitely a fan of Joe Joyce. I was a fan before, you know what I mean? But I'm a big fan of him now, you know what I mean? Because I really got a chance to really sit down and really see him go through some shit. And, you know what I mean? And it was crazy because a man that big, he didn't really appear to be, like, slowing down or getting tired or fatigued at all. You know what I mean? So I'm I'm definitely excited to see what happens with the rest of his career. Um, You can reach me at Greg Hackett 86 on Instagram, Greg Hackett 215 on Twitter, and Greg Hackett on Facebook. Appreciate y'all for tapping in. Make sure you like and share these videos. Thank you.